Have you ever labeled yourself as awkward? Maybe you were in a social situation where you didn't know what to do. Or maybe one of your friends needed some advice or a pick-me-up and you didn't know exactly how to give it to them. Well, today I'm going to help you out a little by talking to you about proper ways to communicate affection. Now, there are multiple ways to do this, but Floyd and Mormon argue that it's useful to categorize affectionate communication into three categories. The first way to demonstrate your affection for others is arguably the simplest of the three categories. It is through direct verbal communication. This can include saying phrases such as, I love you, I care about you, or I can't imagine my life without you. But it gets a bit more complicated than that. There are several types of verbal behavior, including self-disclosure, direct emotional expressions, compliments and praise, and assurances. That's what? I love you! I love you! I love you! In this clip from the movie Elf, Will Ferrell's character is obviously showing some direct emotional expressions. This supports the claim that this is the most direct and unambiguous way to show your affection for someone. One critique is that it is also risky because it opens up a person to rejection. So let's look at our second option. Another way to communicate affection is through direct and nonverbal actions. When we think of this, we usually see hugging, kissing, hand-holding, or maybe putting your arm around someone's shoulders. Now, some of us don't feel as comfortable with this kind of affection. There, there. But that's okay, because under the umbrella of direct, nonverbal communication lies eye contact and vocal behavior. One way to show your affection is through prolonged and mutual eye contact, showing someone that you are sitting up, listening, and paying attention to what they say. The other way is through vocal behavior. By having a warm, inviting tone, and for females specifically speaking in a high-pitched tone, you show you care and show affection for the person you're communicating with. Floyd and Mormon's third grouping of affectionate communication involves indirect and nonverbal messages. There are two types of this, one being support behaviors and the other being idiomatic behaviors. Since this is the most ambiguous way of communicating affection, the relationship between the people involved and the situation are very important to consider. Support behaviors include any emotional or physical support you can give to someone else to show your affection. This might include offering to run an errand for someone or giving simple advice. The second way of showing indirect and nonverbal affectionate communication is by showing idiomatic behaviors. This might also be referred to as an inside joke between two people in a relationship. By using this action or saying these words, they're communicating their love or care for the other person, as shown in this clip from Princess Bride. As you wish. That day she was amazed to discover that when he was saying as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. So, however awkward you think you might be, hopefully today you learned some new ways to show your friends or people you're in relationships with that you care about them. Whether it be directly, indirectly, verbally, or non-verbally, you have plenty of options to show people you care.